Who wants to go first? All right, we'll start with Ben and then go to Joseph after that. Drew, two home runs today. Just kind of what was working for you and uh, where do you feel like you're at heading into conference play next weekend? Yeah, I mean, uh, just going off of, um, you know, my first three at-bats yesterday, um, you know, I was trying to do way too much. And, uh, you know, I kind of made a few adjustments, just loosened up, um, tried not to do too much in my last two at-bats yesterday. And I think it just kind of translated over to today. Drew, the uh, rankings and standings for um, many of the teams in the conference are pretty much similar outside of a couple teams. What's the message and the mindset in the locker room now heading into SEC play? Yeah, um, you know, those rankings, all that, they're cool, but, um, you know, we don't worry about that. We just worry about what we got to do on a day-to-day -day basis to prepare ourselves for our next game, practice, wherever it is. And I think we're feeling pretty confident going into SEC play. All right, we'll go to Mike next and then Ryan. Yeah, Drew, you just kind of mentioned kind of making some mid-game adjustments yesterday. G given the, the energy and enthusiasm you bring, how do you – what's your approach look like to take an at bat, go back to the dugout, settle down, figure out what you did, and come back and do it differently? Mm -hmm. well, I think it kind of stems from an adjustment I tried to make for my freshman and sophomore year is, you know, how quickly can I make adjustments? And, you know, I still have room for improvement. I mean, just like any hitter and try to make – adjustments from pitch to pitch, at bat to at bat, um, whether you get out, whether you, you know, get a hit. Um, you know, there, there's always, you always try to stay one step ahead. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do this year. How good was it to see Max kind of jump out this weekend and then Connor have a, a real strong game today as well? No, absolutely. I mean, those are two of our main guys. And, uh, you, you know, we know what they can do when they're on. And, uh, you know, obviously every player is going to have their struggles and, you know, we haven't been worried about them. We knew it's just, it's a matter of time till they get going. All right, we'll go back to Ben and then back to Wes. Drew, I'm uh, I'm curious about the the bat flip. It's kind of become a thing, uh, mm -hmm. I, I guess, over the last month. Is there a personal flavor? Is there thought in into the bat flip, or is it just kind of natural? You don't even realize you're doing it in the process. Yeah, I think it's uh, you know, it's just kind of natural. Um, it's just kind of one of those things. You know, high adrenaline situation. Um, it just kind of happens. You know. I just hopefully it gets the team going. So if it keep, gets it going, then I'll, you know, I'll keep doing it. Yeah, uh, I'm wondering, um, Drew, if you know how Sunday games can get, you, you know, they, they can sometimes be like the 14-9 game it was last night. I mean, that's just kind of how Sundays go. How big does that make it or how much of an advantage is it when Blade goes out there and does what he does today? You no, know, for sure. Um, you know, Coach B always talks about and preaches to us that it's all about Sunday. And, uh, you know, when a guy like a freshman like Blade Tidwell can take the mound and um, have the presence he had today and um, attack right away, um, it gives the entire team life. And, and uh, you know, I think if we can have that type of deal um, every Sunday, um, we could be in a pretty good spot. All right, we'll go to Ryan. Oh, I'm still muted, Ryan. Yeah, okay. following up on Ben's question a minute ago, uh, are you surprised you haven't gotten thrown at any this year with some of the, the big bat flips? Uh, you know, I, I don't know if I would say I'm uh, surprised or, you know, not surprised. Um, you know, they throw at me, um, you know, so be it. I'm on base. Um, you know, I, I don't really care if they hit me or not. It's, if I get on base, you know, it helps us win. So. All right, we'll finish up with Mike. Yeah, I mean, is it weird, Drew, that you've played 33-ish maybe college games at this point, but you still haven't experienced SEC play? And and what do you expect that to feel like? And then where do you feel like this team is going into that? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, it, it feels like it's, you know, been over a year and I still haven't got um, to taste any of the SEC. Um, you know, same with a lot of the kids uh, in my class. Um, you, you know, I think uh, – it's something everyone talks about, you know, everyone says it's a different atmosphere and, uh, you know, I'm excited to get into that. Um, but I think we're in a pretty good spot and uh, we'll see what happens this weekend. All right. Thanks, Drew. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. I'll see you. Blade, seeing the success of the bullpen, um, is that helping you and some of the other starters be able to go out there and relax and just, you know, throw your game? Yes, sir. Um, the help from the bullpen is really nice. I know that when I come out of the game, my teammates got my back and they'll go out there and do their thing. And it just overall is just good team chemistry right now.
All right, we'll go to Mike next and then Ben. Yeah, Blade, kind of the last two weeks for you, what, what do you think is, has led to the success that you, you found on the mound? I mean, what, how have you progressed maybe since the, the first couple starts you made this season? I think a lot of it's just experience. I mean, I'm getting more and more comfortable each outing. I was more comfortable out there today than I was last weekend, honestly, but the results weren't the same. But honestly, I think it's just experience and being out there with my teammates and just seeing how I fit with this team. Blade, it was your last start before uh, before conference play next week. Just where do you feel like you are at and uh, maybe some things that you want to knock out this week to, to be even more prepared for, for next weekend? I'm feeling really good going into um, SEC play. I just feel like my off speed, I need to twink it a little bit, but it's nothing huge. Just as long as I go out there and throw strikes and compete, I should be fine. All right, we'll go to Wes next and then Hayden. Yeah. Blade, Tony said a minute ago that, that sometimes they, they don't really treat you like a freshman and they're, they're maybe almost unfair in the things that they expect from you. Are you a guy who responds well to, to that kind of pressure or that kind of tough coaching? Yes, sir. I've always liked a good challenge. So whenever they do that, it just gets me amped up and ready to get play. Well, you said you're feeling more. Uh, uh, today than you were last week. Do you think that that comfort is going to carry over to SEC games when the game kind of speeds up and they start mattering a little more? I think it will. I've heard the SEC is just a different type atmosphere in the air, but I plan on progressing and just getting better as we go throughout the year.